Good morning, last city. Stanley here with you. And the Traveler once again graces us with the good word of our God King Overlords at Bungie. Lightfall is post-launch within two weeks, bringing new classes, gear, weapons, a raid, and maybe, if we're lucky, new strikes and crucible maps. Preceding this DLC's launch is a new Strand subclass showcase trailer. For those interested in what exactly each subclass will do, Bungie has a separate blog post that goes into such details. We at Tower News would rather find out on launch day when the servers finally let us in, and because we are just way too lazy to go over in detail so much information. <laughs> Beyond Lightfall's debut, Bungie wishes to address Destiny's new latency issue. The latency causes guardians to walk into walls, stand still, not take damage for several seconds, teleportation, and killing their opponents after all those fun glitches in the matrix. Valve has determined that new relays in its Steam Datagram relay service were not configured properly. This had a severe impact on network quality between players during peak hours. Thankfully, the relays have been taken offline last Friday which has solved the issue for now. With server issues covered, it's time to move on to fashion. When Strand arrives, gear that changes color based upon subclass will glow green to match Guardian's new murder machine abilities. To further match all the Strand weaving, next year's Festival of the Lost Armor has been chosen. Sorry, arachnophobes, Spooter gear beat the wannabe trials look. On the crafting side of things, when Lightfall drops, Resin Element will be phased out and from the game. Enhancement Cores and Glimmer will replace the element cost. Deep Side Tombment Objectives will also be removed. Somehow everything always returns to Enhancement Cores and Glimmer. Now before we leave, we have a somber story to report. After two major earthquakes devastated Turkey and Syria, the Bungie Foundation and teams across the studio have been actively working to develop a support plan to deliver aid and care to the people and families in the region. The generosity of the community during Games to Give enabled Bungie to pledge $50,000 each to Direct Relief and the International Rescue Committee. Direct Relief has committed an initial $1 million in aid to support search and rescue operations, and health corps organizations in both countries. The International Rescue Community is scaling their response to support the affected communities, which will include the provisions of immediate cash, basic items, and hygiene supplies. More than 1,000 IRC staff members in Syria are providing life-saving health care and other support. Furthermore, Bungie is asking Guardians to join them in, su in supporting the humanitarian aid efforts in the region. A special emblem will be given to Guardians who donate $25 or more. All funds raised will go directly to Direct Relief and the IRC. Guardians willing can follow the link provided in this video's description to donate. The corrupt Turkish government may have failed its people, but you can still help its citizens. From all of us at Tower News, that's all we have for you today, and thank you for any help you can give to Turkey and Syria.